good morning students today we are going to learn about a new chapter that is don quixote fight some giants now in this text or in this story we are, we will be learning about one such character the central character whose name is don quixote and he is one such type of a character who always reads about stories of knights adventure and takes inspiration from those stories to act like them so he had read many stories of uh, such types and what he thinks he dreams of having many adventures and uh, performing brave deeds and here also in this text you will be reading about one such adventure that he had but he does not go on that adventure alone okay and uh, the main important part of this story is don quixote's life imagination the main thing which we'll be focusing on is don quixote's imagination whenever at whatever situation don quixote is he imagines by himself the situations does not matter if the situations are occurring in uh, whatever basis it is but don quixote changes the situations all by himself or he thinks of the situations all by himself so most importantly what happens here is he thinks about the situations all by himself he imagines them even if they exist or not so one day what happened he uh decided to go for uh, such an adventure but for that he had to convince one of the person to accompany him to go along with him since he had read in the stories that he uh, any knights do not go alone to any adventure okay so that's why he needed a help so what he did he tried to convince a person whose name is sancho panza now sancho panza it's a new character now so now what kind of a person was sancho panza he was a very simple kind of person but he had less money he had the crisis of money so don quixote he talked to him for many hours he tried to convince him in many ways but he was not accepting sancho panza was not accepting but later he said that don quixote said that in one of these adventures they might even conquer an island and don quixote said that if this happened he would make sancho panza the governor of the island so what he said he tried to give him or uh, manipulate his uh, thinking by telling him that if we win that uh, land if we have got the land under our control then i will make you the governor so you will be able to rule that land so hearing this sancho panza Uh, had no other choice he accepted because uh, not to think in a negative way because sancho panza himself he had a uh, shortage of money he needed money so he accepted it and so he agreed to leave his family behind so that he could serve don quixote as well as he could get money also now sancho before getting into the adventure he had declared that he does not have a horse so he will carry his donkey along with himself but don quixote he had never read in any of the stories whichever he had read that a squire okay that a helper would be riding a donkey so he never heard this or he had never read this in any of the stories so what he decided he told that sancho will be taking his horse sancho will be taking the horse of don quixote and when they will get into the adventure so with the enemies when they will fight so after defeating those enemies the enemies will be having their horses obviously so they will be able to exchange the horse along with the donkey okay against the donkey and so they will have uh, don quixote and uh, sancho panza both will have their own horses after they get it exchanged with the enemies so this was the um, idea made or this was um, their plan so then they started now while uh, sancho panza and don quixote had started on the adventure uh, meanwhile on their way uh, they had carried all the uh, things whatever are necessary to receive the things or whatever they will win in the adventure they were already with those things now on the way what happens 
Sancho reminded Don Quixote about his promise that was made to Sancho Panza by Don Quixote. Uh, he told him that do you remember you had told me that you will make me the uh, squire uh, sorry you will make me the governor of the island uh, so if you have already promised me do not forget that so to this don quixote he answers that yes yes don't worry as i have told you already great knights used to make their squires governor of the islands that they won it happens that they make the governor but some knights made their squires wait for many years they have uh, they keep on uh, they keep on waiting make them keep waiting for many time but i will not do in that way i shall not be like that i may win a kingdom in 6 days time and i shall straight away put you in charge of it as soon as we have uh, won that island or uh, that land i will make you the governor of that island so you can see here that they are heading towards that adventure they are all moving now comes a situation now a situation will occur where we will see the example of don quixote's imagination that he has so you can see in this picture now let's see what happens next now at that moment while they were he heading forward they saw 30 or 40 windmills in the distance as you can see here okay there are some windmills here now don quixote while he uh, pointing he is pointing towards them and he is saying that look over there my friend there are at least 30 great giants standing there i shall fight with them and kill them all with the treasures that we get from them we shall be rich so what he does he is pointing towards this windmills actually he is pointing towards this windmills and saying that they, there are 30 great giants you can see in the picture it's uh, very uh, visible that here are four okay four windmills can be seen here so he considers them as giants don quixote considers them as giants and says that uh, we will fight with them and whatever treasure we get from them we shall be rich now just think about sancho panza because a normal person will be able to see the windmills that is for sure but don quixote's lively imagination makes it a giant which is not normal for a everyday person okay so what he says how he reacts sancho sancho says which giants do you mean i cannot see any of the giants there they are over there his master replied look at their long arms some of these giants have arms that are more than 6 miles long and he regards to this sails you know what you can see here he regards them as long arms of the giants but they are actually the sails of the windmills so sancho panza he tries to make don quixote clear about his doubt he says that please look again sir said sancho those are not giants they are windmills what you call their arms are really their sails they move round and round in the wind to make the milestones turn and that is the process of the windmills that is how they they run okay that is how they move so they are not giants they are actually the windmills so see properly but while uh, sancho panza had tried to clear the doubt don quixote should have listened to him isn't it but don quixote does not listens to him and what he said it is quite clear to me that you know nothing about adventures said don quixote i tell you they are giants i can confirm this that they are actually giants and if you are afraid then you can go away and say your prayers you don't have to come with me you just keep yourself safe i will go forward and i will fight with them and i will become rich so you can see what kind of imagination don quixote has brought into in the situation where it is not even necessary because we have already seen here what the real picture is there are the windmills no giants is available there isn't it now again sancho tries to clear that uh, they were only windmills but still don quixote does not pay any kind of attention does not listen to him but rather what he does 
he raised his horse rozinante forward and he was so sure that they were jans that even when he was near them he did not recognize them as windmills it might happen sometime with us that if we have looked into any such object from a very far distance we might get confused or we may mistake it to be something else but when we go near that object when we have just reached uh, nearby then we can completely get cleared about the object and what it is but that was not the case with uh, don quizot he still was living in his imagination that they were the giants okay or maybe we can say that he was living in his imaginative world so much that he did not want to accept the reality or also we can say in this way that he wanted to become famous like the uh Mm, those knights which he had read about in the stories okay so whatever way you want to uh, get it right uh, it's completely your choice now one thing mm, sancho he had uh, tried to make him understand but he did not uh, listen to him rather what he did he forced his horse whose name was rozinante so remember this don quixote's horse name was rozinante so he kept it forward and next what happened you see don't run away from me cowards he shouted there is only one knight here and he is brave enough to attack you and he is talking to the um, uh, windmills uh, referring them as uh, cowards or giants he is thinking that the giants are coward and uh, are they are just going away from him just in fear of getting attacked but now see what happens because they are windmills okay and with little bit of air it will start rotating it will start moving so yes the same thing happens the wind rose and the sails of the windmills began to move when they started to move what uh, he had quite reached uh, nearby the windmills and don quizot he shouted and told them move your arms as much as you like but you will not stop me he covered himself with his shield and he held his spear ready then he pushed rozinante forward at a full gallop and what he did he did not listen to the advice of sancho panza did not want to accept the reality rather what he did he was living in his own imaginative world and he was taking the shield along with him with, with the help of which we can protect ourselves from fighting while we are fighting we can protect ourselves from that shield so that the attack does not fall on us okay or we don't get hit so that is a shield so he tried to cover himself with the shield and he just forced his spear okay uh this this is the shield that he was carrying and he forced his spear this is the spear now then what happened he attacked the nearest windmill forcing his spear into the sail and the sail while it was spinning round okay because it was rotating it was moving so then what happened it was moving so quickly that the sail it did not get any kind of loss no kind of destruction or anything rather what happened while don quizot had forced the spear into the windmill it broke the spear into many pieces and knocked don quizot and rozinante over what was the result nothing happened to the windmill no loss was made to it rather who was in loss rozinante and don quizot himself now being an obedient helper sancho while he looked at the situation he rushed to his master to help him as fast as his donkey could trot because donkey you know it is quite lazy okay it cannot run fast like a horse so as fast as it could move it moved forward and then sancho panza got down and tried to help his master don quizot but when he got there he found that don quizot had been so badly shaken by the fall that he could not move but still this is not the end do you think uh, don quizot is going to understand now definitely not oh sir said sancho didn't i warn you about what you were doing they are only windmills again he tries to uh, confirm him but will uh, don quizot listen be quiet sancho replied don quizot in war one's fortune can change so easily I think that a magician turned those giants into windmills so that I would not be able to conquer them. But you shall see in the end with my good sword I shall win. So what he says that he does not again listens to uh, Sancho Panza but he 
makes him quiet he shuts him up by saying that you don't know anything and you keep quiet because i know that in war this kind of situations happen because once fortune it is not always permanent if i have not won now the next moment i will win and rather i think that while um, i moved forward the giants could see me and somehow they made some kind of magic and they tried to not they tried but they uh, really they changed those giants into windmills and that's why i have fallen but that was not the case actually what had happened sancho panza had already told him that they are the windmills they are not the giants but don quixote was not ready to listen to him he was not accepting the uh, reality whatever was appearing in front of him he was not ready to believe that rather he had made up a story all by himself that they were turning into windmills they had been turned into windmills by some magic okay and then what he says that i will be able to win at the end so lastly sancho panza he was not left with to anything to say so he just says i hope so and he helped don quixote to climb back on rosinante again since he had tried a lot of time but still Rose, uh, don quixote was not ready to listen to him so if any person is not ready to listen to you after you have tried to explain him numbers of time what is what will be left with us to do nothing right so that's why sancho panza also left the situation to don quixote himself and just helped him to uh, get into the horse again so here is the end if you want to know more about the story then you can read about the main story because this part is only an adaptation okay from don quixote and the writer is michael de cervantes so if you want to know next what happened so please go through this uh, story which uh, whose name is don quixote itself okay so this is all about the story hope you have understood uh, that's all thank you